Greetings, friends. I'm Jerry Ogles, and I am the presiding bishop of the Anglican Orthodox Communion worldwide, with headquarters in Statesville, North Carolina. For the last few years, I've been writing a devotion each week on one of the classical hymns of the church, those hymns that have stood the test of time and that embody biblical doctrine and truth. And so someone suggested recently that I make my collection of Christmas carols and hymns available to the public, which we have done just recently in this book entitled Traditional Christmas Hymns Revisited. The book is lavishly illustrated throughout by the, the works of art of the great masters of the past, which match the beauty of the hymns that are included. When the winter gales are blowing and the fireside is warm and inviting, isn't it a joy and a comfort to be able to sit by the fire, sip our tea or coffee, and contemplate Christmas? To contemplate the hymns of Christmas and their meaning and to sing them over and over again. We do that beginning at Advent all the way through the Christmas season, the 12 days of Christmas. Ages past longed for the coming of the Messiah, Emmanuel. And so the very first hymn in the collection is O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. And that is a, an Advent hymn. And I'm going to just read a portion of it so that you will get an idea of where we are going in the book, what the approach is, and how we, uh, how we advance it. O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, an Advent hymn. Isaiah 7:14. Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. And reading in the beginning, before God spoke in Ian's past, the world was mantled in a thick curtain of darkness, which had shrouded it from the moment that it was made, from nothing, by the voice of God. It was from this smothering darkness that God spoke light into being, and it was so. The sphere of the earth was exposed to the light of the first day, and creation continued its physical consummation by the executive hand of the Lord the same Lord who made heaven and earth and you and me. Reading from John 1, 1 through 4. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. The same light that heralded the coming of the Savior is the light that lights our, light, our lives and our hearts even today. Continuing, the Lord God who came down at Christmas and humbled himself to the bed of a manger in Bethlehem for the feeding of animals and whose coming was heralded by the light of the star is the same Lord Jesus Christ whom we worship. The Lord God knew in the eternities past that man would not be able to achieve any righteousness at all on his own power and will. So the Lord God made provision for a Savior who would come into the world to redeem those who would believe upon him truly and devoutly. I hope that you will make this book available to yourself and to your friends and neighbors bearing in mind that all proceeds and profits go to the support of overseas missions in places like the Solomon Islands and Fiji and the Philippines, in India and Pakistan, in Africa, South America, and in Southern Europe. So, with this book, arm yourself for Christmas. Be ready. Be ready for the joy, the complete joy of it. May God bless you truly and richly throughout the season and with the Christmas spirit for every day that follows in the coming year. God bless you and goodbye.